Abaca part three, and you are going to like this restoration. I learned quite a bit here, and I got to show you the excitement that I've got here. Oh, this, 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 all this needs to be done. Um, okay. Now, what I did is I went through here, and I've got the text small enough so you can see this, that these two group together, okay? These two group together. And then I corrected the word uh, Assyrians here. And then these two group together, and these two group together. And these two did too, and I needed to correct this, so I did a little correcting. It's it's just uh, you can read this. I'm not gonna. I don't want to spend that much time on here. Um, I had to put new gods. Okay, um, it just read better. And yes, I know that uh, I added that, but that reads really good because the fact that when I realized that. This needs to be corrected. This is not about Jesus. Um, you are everlasting. Okay, but you are everlasting, YV. You are our Holy One who will not die. Um, you are our Holy One who will not die. Um, and obviously, uh, you are our Holy One. Who You, you will not die. Let's see if that sounds better and just get rid of it. For you appointed us, us. <coughs> you appointed yourself as king. Were you appointed? yourself are not king uh, what was the word that was there before let me go up here and see what happened to that word It's already cleaned up, so it's got to be up here farther. Our judge. Okay. That word come in pretty handy, didn't it? Our judge. You yourself, you appointed yourself our judge. And this will be out. For you appointed yourself our judge to establish
And what do you establish? You establish our nation. To lead us. Okay. And then this, it just read better when I had put that in there. Because it's now you are everlasting, meaning that they they had their newer gods and they lose the strength in their newer gods. Um, but it just, to me, it made more sense that way. You will not... You are holy and you are holy and will not die. You appointed yourself our judge to establish our nation to lead us. I guess it's, yes, you know, this would be right to establish our nation and lead us. Okay, that works better and looks better. Sorry I didn't blow it up. I thought I was going to be quicker than that. But um, then again, all of a sudden, these, like I said, these two are hooking together now uh, better because one, if there's Jesus, then he has to be in this one, and that wasn't true. So then I corrected this here. The wicked swallows up, for we are more righteous than they are. Instead of those are those more righteous. Um, the words things, I guess I'm going to leave that for right now. And because the things, these things are, so their catch is large and continually captured and continually. I guess I should leave the word they there now that I. It could be or could not be, and it just this time I decided. <laughs> Anyways, these two pair up, but all of a sudden these don't. Okay, these don't hook together. But when I seen how I edited this text here, I have this one, like this now. I see your evil ones, and their souls are not righteous within them. Though that ties together. So what it means is, is that we have this missing okay and then i remove this and then what i did was i said gee whiz i got to put some kind of title here okay now what happened real quickly here when i went down here again these two hooked together these two hooked together these hooked together and i'm going to um, just leave this alone for right now. Those two hooked together, those two hooked together, and I figured out that the devastation I figured out is killing like killing by beast, like a killing by beast. So, yes, uh, if I, I did get rid of that word, um, made it more truthful. But you can see how these verses are hooking together, okay? But what happened was when I realized that, I went looking up, um, what was it, up at the top here. And I'm thinking, well, gee whiz, it, there's got to be something that hooks right here that has to make up. And guess what that would be? A vision through Habakkuk to the king at this time and such and such. It would have been the time and date and the king who he told this to, okay? That's what's missing. And then you would have the full verse. They got rid of this so we didn't know what this is. 
because when it, we reveal that these two are grouping together so that we know that there's something here, when I thought what would be missing, it has to be the king and when he said that. So when I uh, go down here, let's see, I did that as well. Words from Habakkuk, such and such, such and such date. And then he's got to be speaking about the Assyrians because we already know the prophecy. And, th and this is it's like creditors rising up suddenly and collect. And then all of a sudden we have the completeness here. Okay, now that's the end of Habakkuk. And we've got everything in, the, in this, like I said, uh, when they hook to two together, two together like that, that's when it's like you know that the writer was really knew how to do this type of text. Okay, um, I've it took because I edited the text for gee must have been nine years, and probably a lot longer than that. Uh, in learning how they write this, that I could all of a sudden learn that style. But you just don't learn a style like this in three verse, three verse, and hook three verse, three verse. Your mind does not think like this. These are like, they have to write down the story. They have to work at this to get this in. It's all, this is well thought out format, okay? This is just not something two verse, two verse, two verse, two verse. This is this is technical writing here. <laughs> but um, now we ha I had to add these words, so I have to put them in gray. But that's the, that'll be the title there. And I guess I should have made this this gray as well and gone like that. And then. It's just beautiful when you read this. Um, I will have them all put together at some time. I really will, and I will have them um, uh, in a PDF, and they'll be special because then they'll be in order. So when you read these groups of prophets that actually make it, because um, we already had Joel that didn't make it. Um, just like in Psalms, I had what, um, oh, I think uh, 55 of them didn't make it. They were just stupid. I mean, um, I'm trying to be as truthful as possible, but we can't have our Creator have smoke coming out of his mouth or nose and fire coming out of his mouth and we don't have a volcano god i mean this is just but uh, some of the text uh, like joel didn't hook to anything uh what was the other one uh, jonah jonah was just completely made up they knew the format but they just put that story in there because when it talks about uh, a whale of uh, uh swallowing them for three days and three nights. Well, the thing there is, is that it has nothing to do with Jesus neither. Jesus was not in the earth for three days and three nights, even though the text, Jesus says that. Jesus is a liar because the text proves that uh, they uh, crucified him on the day of preparation, and that was the day they were sacrificing or not sacrificing, they were killing the ram, they were roasting it, so they had a meal at the end of the day, families were to gather together, they're there in Jerusalem for the celebration, that's gonna happen for the next uh, eight days there, so they were all there, this is what was going on, busy all over the place, and he was uh, crucified on that day, because early in the morning on that day, the next day, because that sunset, um, twilight, uh, is the beginning of the day. Um, that's when they arrested him during morning, and then they arrest, then they crucified him, 
And then the next day, uh, that's when they went to look in the tombs and found Jesus' body was gone. Uh, so he wasn't buried for three days. But the object is, is when there's a lie in the text, I am to take it out. And I was really glad here to figure out the Assyrians because when I, I did read over the text quite a bit here, um, I guess I should be talking and letting you guys take a screenshot of this stuff. Let me make it a little bit smaller. That way you don't have to put or so nine, nine of these together. But uh, let me get up here and put the cursor up here. That uh, knowing that this text reads, let's see, how can I say this? Um, oops, I'm talking and I'm thinking I got to go over there. I got to look over there and then roll it up. And then, but to see words that are missing that aren't so strong in the other text when Judah goes, because that's because they were profaning his house. Uh, they were definitely uh, corrupting the text. Um, the kings were doing certain things. Uh, the nobles were doing certain things. So, but this, this has none of that. Um, so it's our creator talking about Assyria, or uh, Assyrians coming down, Assyria coming down. So the violence was done in Israel, kingdom of Israel. That's why I make the, the, that bold. And then that's the end. Okay, I really enjoyed doing that one. Um, it's fun. I hope that you're hearing how I'm thinking and um, trying to figure this out. Um, because I'm just not putting in words to put words in there just to make you happy um, or make myself happy. It's not about me. It's about trying to find the first writer's words and in, in putting yourself in that position to have that uh, feeling as being uh, a person long ago, that is just, that thrills me the most. I mean, to, to be able to sit here and tell you how David wrote, how, or how David would write something compared to uh, uh, King Jehu would write, I mean, that, just to understand how they verbally would say things, it's just amazing. But anyways, I think it's time to get on to the next one and uh, see you on the next one.